Last year, I flew from London to Washington on board British Airways in Club World. So this year, I've decided to try the other end of the spectrum and fly the cheapest direct ticket I could find, which ended up to be on an airline called Norse Atlantic. Unlike British Airways, Virgin Atlantic and United, Norse are a low cost airline and also fly from London Gatwick as opposed to Heathrow. While the South Terminal at Gatwick isn't the best of places, it still features a wide variety of places to shop and eat. Despite getting to the airport three hours before departure, after check-in and security, I only had 20 minutes until my gate was called. And here's my aircraft for today's flight. Golf Charlie Kilo Whiskey November, a Boeing 787-9 first delivered to Norwegian Airlines in 2018 before transitioning into the Norse fleet after the pandemic. Despite being a low-cost carrier, the cabin definitely didn't feel that way. It felt clean and the uniform on the cabin crew looked professional. And in general, Norse have a very solid theming, with the logo picturing the front of a Viking ship, which makes a lot of sense for a transatlantic airline. It's believed that Vikings were the first people to cross the Atlantic, having made ground in Iceland, Greenland, Canada, and even as far down as the United States, with evidence suggesting that Viking settlers made it as far down as Rhode Island. I love the nod the airlines give to human innovation over the last few hundred years, with Vikings battling for weeks in wooden ships to get across the Atlantic, while today we get to cruise across the Atlantic in just a few hours. The seat is comfortable and features 31 inches of legroom, which is the same as all other airlines that fly from London to Washington. And not long after that, we began our pushback and taxi out to runway 26 left. After takeoff, we took a lower Atlantic track, commonly used by transatlantic aircraft departing Gatwick, which took us over Cornwall and then just south of Ireland. The cabin crew then started coming around the cabin with food and drink. I had pre-ordered the meal for today's flight, which was a choice between shrimp or chicken, and I chose chicken. It turned out to be a chicken in lemon sauce with mashed potato, bread, butter, and a chocolate orange mousse, which all honestly tasted pretty good. The entertainment system was also pretty good, with plenty of free movies and TV shows to choose from. Norse were founded in 2021 after Norwegian Airlines disbanded their long-haul services due to the pandemic, which meant retiring their Boeing 787s to focus on their European short-haul services on board the Boeing 737s. Just like Norwegian Airlines before them, Norse are a Norwegian airline, however they have a British subsidiary known as Norse Atlantic UK, allowing them to operate a base at London Gatwick. And with all this said, I have yet to understand what makes this a low-cost carrier. I've flown across the pond with both British Airways and Virgin Atlantic in economy many times, and there is nothing so far that seems to elevate them above what Norse have provided me today. While I did have to pay extra for my in-flight meal, when comparing ticket prices, the cost of the meal just seems insignificant. United are by far the most expensive at $1,180, Virgin Atlantic coming close second at $924, British Airways third at $919, and then Norse at a staggeringly cheap $523. 
dollars. Even when including the meal price, it still makes no difference as to the cheapest option. I cannot exaggerate enough just how much Norse make these other legacy carriers feel like a ripoff. While operating cheap flights are attracting customers that just want the cheapest flight possible, low cost transatlantic airlines have never worked in the past, with Norwegian Airlines ending transatlantic service in 2020 and Premier Air ending service to Dallas from Stansted back in 2018. Saying this though, Norse seems to be on a winning streak, as they have also announced service to many more destinations since starting and now offer flights to Asia and the Caribbean. Norse have also started a code-sharing agreement with Spirit Airlines, meaning you can now get from London to practically anywhere in the US for barely anything. I'm no expert in the way in which airlines price flights, but Norse could charge an extra $400 and they would still be the cheapest airline flying direct service from London to Washington. But a short while after that, the cabin crew came around the cabin with purchasable drinks and I went for an orange juice which cost me a hefty £3.15. And following that, we began our descent into Washington Dulles and we'd be landing on runway 19 center. All in all, for the price I paid, I am extremely impressed with the service Norse provided. On a purely comparative level, of course the likes of British Airways and United provide a better service, but at $400 cheaper, Norse are definitely the way to go for anyone who just wants to get from point A to point B with no connections or hassle. But with that, I want to thank you very much for watching today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.